All right, now it works. All right, Yosh. Reviewing Steins Gate, episode four. Episode four now. Uh, we're going deeper, deeper, deeper into the show. Um, but before we start, let me say, best genus, genes. Um, <clears throat> I have not gone through um, the Tamoyo after visual novel. Have not. One time. I reached the main menu. I kid you not, kid you not. I recognized, I recognized the beautiful audio as being of Clanad. And I teared up just, just from the recognizing the audio being of Clanad pretty powerful stuff pretty powerful stuff amazing how we can get connections with these shows that we care about so but anyhow let's get back into it human is dead mismatch alrighty we got the CERN email we got the human is dead mismatch hacked message Okabe concludes a person has died. And I'm, who knows, probably uh, with the way YouTube is going, the uh, later episodes in this where you have to mention a certain kind of weapon, uh, that'll probably get the channel destroyed at some point um, with all the reports I'm seeing about YouTube going into the gutter but anyhow Jellyman's reports weird database proprietary code even the glorious hacker nerd or hack Daru can't figure it out can't figure out the um, the code even with all his nerdy books it's very frustrating. It's unreadable code of some kind. Okabe ponders Suzuha's words and then contacts John Titer himself. Suzuha has another was up moment to uh, Okabe, Miyushi. Um, and Okabe uh, going for laundry of sorts. Suzuhu, Suzuhu, Suzuha. Oh man, I'm just going based on my notes, so I guess it does have some botch stuff. Stop popping up stuff because of the dang browser engine. <clears throat> Can't get it to stop popping up on the dang screen. Every so often. Suzuha defends Okabe from Mr. Bronze Words of hers or something along those lines anyhow um, sometimes I don't know I don't can't make sense of my own notes sometimes you know it's been, it's been a long time since the notes geez um, Susan had defends from Mr. Braun's words of hers she calls herself a warrior She's confident she can take care of herself. So it was something Mr. Braun said that irritated her. Um, and then we get a more, a better label with what Mayuri's been kind of doing. Hand sun rays type thing. It's uh, shaking hands with stardust. Um, I guess that's what it's called. And then there's the Mayuri graveyard imagery. The hand to sun rays thing. Um, so maybe it teased all that again. I don't know. Um, anyhow, 
Ferris shoot of Daru's in the laundry. That was interesting and weird. Maki say ponders the experiment. She had taken off, but now she's alone in her apartment pondering the experiment and she's in denial of time travel and time machines she gave Okabe White the uh, verbal smackdown in debate format and um, she doesn't believe in the, su in the sort and then to be confronted with it by these uh, <laughs> by these uh, nobodies average Joes uh, it's got to be significant and quite a mind boggler. Moaka emails Okabe some more, prodding about info at the IBN 5100. And Okabe, he talks to John Titer himself. Explains he needs an IBN 5100. This is on Titer. He explains that he needs an IBN 5100 PC to change the world. And that specific one has the capability, the secret capability, to be able to read proprietary code of CERN. Very interesting. Daru asleep, Mayuri at work, Okabe finds Makise. Kind of drags her along with him. The zombie. All the little labels. All the labels that he came up with for her are very funny and interesting. And I like the teasing back and forth, the verb, minor verbal feuding type of a deal. Okabe speculates that uh, Moaka is obsessed with the organization in particular. Moaka calls him a conspiracy theorist. So we get Moaka versus Okabe in an argument over the possibility of time travel being possible. Moaka is emotional about it, mentions not going to side with her father. Wait, why Why does that say Moaka? I think we mean Makise. I think I wrote it down wrong. Because I think that, that's that's the other one. Now I'm confused. Oh, that's the thing with this time travel stuff, or rather, noting stuff down. <clears throat> you can botch the notes. Yeah, I think that was all uh, Maki say, not Moaka. I think it auto corrected to Moaka. Nonetheless, Moaka and Okabe stop each other. And yeah, that is, that is uh, Maki say. Maki say Karisu. They stop each other. He offers her to freely leave or stay with the lab and asks of the IBN 5100, informs her of the details. He informs her of the details. So there's just onion layers of information being learned about. And uh, she walks off pondering his words, or he walks off pondering his words. Um, Mayushi, Mayuri, talks to Ferris of the IBN 5100 and tells Okabe she has information about it. Okabe runs off. This is very significant. Doo -doo -doo. And there's some weird Ferris Cup competition going on based on some board game. It bonkers. Bonkers that she has a fan base like that. Okabe demands info. Ferris demands he play the game against her. Okabe agrees, and it's it, the, the bet is based upon the info that Ferris has uh, about the IBN 5100. So she knows something. And the game is over such info. Okabe loses, but Ferris points out. <laughs> yeah, Okabe, him with his whatever, secret strategy, ultimate strategy, kaboom. Yeah. He botched it. He completely botched it. And he failed just instantly. It cuts to just him losing. 
which is funny because he, he's, he's all bark. He's all bark. But uh, Ferris points out the, the very specifics of what was agreed. Uh, she only promised to play for info. Uh, hold up. I'm not... Uh, anyhow, whatever, whatever it was, there was some sort of technicality. Um, she didn't, she didn't say she would fork over the information or something. She, uh, they only played the game, whatever. He thought she agreed, but whatever the case, so she was being sly. Um... But he did lose. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh, okay, I, I get it, I get it, I get it, I caught on, I caught on. Okabe points out she just said to play the game, not to win necessarily for the info. So he's the one who points out the technicality. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, even. We gotta test our memory with Steins Gate. It's the choice of Steins Gate. Uh, it would be fun to come up with like anime quizzes or something along those lines. I bet they're out there somewhere. Um, so Ferris informs Okabe about the IBM 5100. It's gone. It's gone. She knew of one, but it's gone. Her uh, father supposedly had one a long time ago and she had last saw one at a shrine in Akihabara um, in a more detailed location Furushibaya so anyhow Makise talks to her American lab about the details on things and confirms Okabe's speculations on time travel as legit, thus ending her doubt and resistance to whatever degree. And uh, Makise calls up Okabe and she joins up with him. Um, yeah, I think that was uh, her giving him a call and then she was right there nearby. Ruka confirms the uh, Ruka confirms having the uh, I, IBN 5100 at the uh, shrine Aki, Akihabara shrine and is exactly 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 what they are looking for I, I remember something funny, but I probably ought not mention it because uh, it is a light spoiler for later. But So I, I won't mention it, but it, it ties into something funny someone said um, about the show. But anyhow. <clears throat> anyhow, anyhow. Ruka is to be 17 this year. So 16 right now, turning 17. Makise is 18. Um... Or is going to be anyhow. Makaze calls Ruka cuter than herself, which embarrasses Ruka to Okabe's enjoyment and amusement. Because Ruka is a dude. That that almost became like a meme. It could be. So and so is a dude. Oh. You know, you never suspect traps. Never suspect traps. Um, and I didn't with this one, so I it probably st I don't remember what my initial reaction was when I saw it for the first time off cam. But I'm I'm pretty sure I was stunned. Uh, wow, <laughs> you know, 
bizarre. But anyhow, Ruka's father tells Okabe. Now here's where it gets very interesting. Very interesting, and you'll probably rewind the show at this point to rewatch this part. Ruka's father tells Okabe something very specific. He tells Okabe, the person who dropped off the IBN 5100 in the past told him that someday in the future someone would show up who needs the IBN 5100 and tasked him to uh, look after it around 10 years ago. So Okabe ends up borrowing it. Uh, they, uh, they allow him to borrow it. And then we get a Christina line. Okabe and Maki say kind of have to use teamwork on carrying the heavy sucker back to the lab. It is just heavy as bricks. Um, Okabe ponders. Uh, Maki says words of her father and uh, her not wanting to be on the same page as him and that's where we end off so not the not the biggest cliffhanger but it did give you it did give a hype worthy tease and a significant progression with the plot they obtain the machine they need to uh, save the world from devastation or from uh, dystopia dystopia versus utopia I think it was a dystopia anyhow we're ahead of time on this one great uh, do more and we can probably grab some chow uh, internet's just trash. I can't do this or that, so we're just doing the reviews. But uh, we'll be lucky if we can even upload the dang reviews. Um, and with what we wanted to show each month. Jeez, good gravy. North Pole needs better internet, and so does the rest of the world. That's what I think. Higher speed. Higher speed. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. Um, yeah, I think I think my f favorite part is where we get the tidbit of info. Info teased that someone purposely dropped off the machine for Okabe and knew that Okabe was going to need it. That has to be my hype-worthy favorite moment of the episode. It's, al it's always going to be wherever the most meat and potatoes, the heavy, heavy moments are. Um, whatever's hype-worthy, the most hype-worthy. So we'll have to see what happens in episode 5 and 6, at least uh, with us reviewing notes based on them. Just the bare essentials of what happens with the episodes. All right. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more Steinsgate Review, episode by episode. As always, take your cool.